I'm Tina McDonald, artist in residence with Imagine Crafts featuring Sukaneko. Today we're going to be exploring some tool techniques and we're going to be working with the squeegee. Most of us are quite familiar with using a squeegee in our crafting, but we're going to go through some basic techniques today as well as some new things. So first of all, we're going to be using the creative media and we're going to use a stencil. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm using one of my palette knives just to apply it right to my stencil. Then I'm going to take my squeegee and I'm going to take the rubber side, which is going to really help to push that creative medium down into the grooves, as well as gather up all the excess. Once I have applied the medium as I want, the nice thing is all that extra that is on the side of my squeegee can now be reapplied back into the bottle. While our creative medium is still wet, I'm going to show you another technique. So we're going to take a little bit more of the creative medium with our palette knife and just spread it on over top of what we've just done. You don't need to use a stencil first, but I'm just going to use the wet medium here to make use of it. Now on one side of our squeegee, you'll see that there's a texturizing side. So we're going to take that and we can just run it through our wet medium. So whether this is the colored creative medium or whether this is gesso, um, paint, anything at all, this will work wonderful with. Another technique I love to do using that same texturizing side is adding some watercolor. So I'm going to use the Kaleida Color Ink Pad and I'm just going to stamp it randomly um, to give a nice large coverage area. Now I'm spritzing it with the ink potion number nine and I'm going to take that texturizing portion and I'm going to add some ripples. See how it's separating the colors there? I love that. Then take your cardstock and you can just dip it directly into that, which I've spritzed onto the craft mat, and that gives you an awesome, gorgeous pattern. Love that. Besides using it for applying um, product, I've also used it as a flat edge, which is great for adding lines to card edges if you like to outline things. Um, also, if you like to add journaling strips and you want to um, add a little bit of lining onto your page, this is excellent for that. It's also great for positioning stickers or for um, applying washi tape or patterned papers just to make sure things are straight. It's excellent because it's right there. That's the nice thing about this. You don't need a separate tool for everything you do, but the little squeegee does excellent even for these things. While we're at it, let's take that texturized side and we're going to use it as a tracing tool so it almost looks like, um, like machine stitching. So I think that's pretty cool. You can also use it as a flat edge if you want to add some inking to an area, but you want a nice, firm, definite line for where you stop. I'm using one of the sponge daubers here, and the squeegee makes a perfect stop line for me. And then if you want to add a second color, it will work the same way. The first color will blend with the second, and then you'll have a definite line for that second color. How cool is that? Love it. Love that straight line. And one more quick thing before we go. The squeegee is also fabulous for cleanup. I have applied some irresistible texture spray to my craft mat, which I oftentimes do. I'm always over spraying my projects and leaving a big mess. Well, it's excellent to help clean up that mess. Just give it a second. Once it's completely dry, it comes off much better. Wipe off the excess and then take the flat edge of your squeegee and just give it a good firm scrubbing and it is gone. I love that because I am a horrible mess maker. Fabulous. And that's it for today. If you haven't got an Imagine Crafts featuring Sukaneko Squeegee, you're going to want to grab one now. Also, don't forget to follow Imagine Crafts on Facebook, Pinterest, and at imaginecrafts.com.